In this video, we're going to be discussing how to set up the Mini Connected app. Previously on the channel, we showed all the features that the app had. Hopefully you enjoy the video. If you have any questions or comments about how to use the app, please leave them in the comments below. My name is Ethan and welcome to Car Creations. Okay, let's go ahead and open the app. And here, if you don't have an account already, you will have to go and create a new user. So let's hit it now. Make sure you have your region set to where you are, else you'll find that if you set it to the wrong place, it won't be able to find your VIN in the database. I'm gonna go put in my information, just give me a second. Your password requirements to have at least eight characters, and then you have to have lowercase characters, uppercase characters, have to have a number or a special character. So I'm just gonna put in a password now, and then you can put in your first name, last name, and then your title, whatever that turns out to be. Once you put your information in, you have to click create your account. So the next step you have to do is verify your email. So just go to the email login and follow the information in that email. Here's the email I have, open that email, and then you just have to click this link here. I don't know how well you can see that. Click the link. Confirm your details. Okay, so my account is now registered and activated. Get that, let's go back to the app now. So let's go to login, put in my password, login. Nice, next they ask you for a pen. So just put in something you're gonna remember. You have to agree the terms of use, privacy policy, and then the mini connected terms of use. Yep, sign my firstborn child away. And now you just enter your driver details. So just put in your address. If you're in Canada and your postal code doesn't work, try putting in all uppercase characters. And I presume that's for other countries such as England that also have postal codes. Okay, so after that, click done. So now you need to go to your car and open up your passenger side door and locate your VIN. And that is what we're gonna enter now. Okay, so once you have your VIN in, click next. Okay, so it will now see your car. You should see the spec from factory shown there. And if you already have another account, or as if there's someone else on the car, you want to click, no, there'll be multiple drivers. If they're the first time setting up, and you will, this is your primary email address, you will click, yes, I'll be the only driver. So I already have an account, so I will click this, next. Additional driver. All right, so this is where you will get the information from your car to make sure everything is verified properly. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna turn on my car. You don't have to turn it on, you just have to click the start engine stop switch. And then you just wanna scroll on your wheel to mini connected or just tap on the screen. And then go to mini messages. And then here's your info. You have, you can see I've done it a few times here, but here you have your info, you click on that and then you have the code that Mini has sent to you. And then you just go and put that code into your app. And then what you want to do is scroll to communication and then go to Mini messages. And sometimes it will take a little bit for it to send it. So I would give it one to five minutes. Also make sure you're in an area that actually has LTE service. I tried it once and I was not in such area because I live in the middle of nowhere. Take forever. Okay, once you get the code, then you would just tap on confirm vehicle. All right, that is all you have to do for now. You can see that you have some basic features for the app, such as fuel level and range. Uh, you also get some other functions such as destinations and other things like that. And you also have the call roadside assistance. It does need some time to confirm it's your vehicle and it says here it takes a few hours. So we'll check back in a few hours and make sure that we have everything connected. All right, back and everything is all working. We should be, you should be all set. Um, you have all the features that I showed in the other video. So if you wanna go see all the features, click on the top right corner now and you can see my, my full in-depth review of this entire app. So I just wanted to bring up some questions that a lot of people ask when setting up the app. So the first one is, what model years does the app work for? So if you get a car that is 
2013 or newer, it will work on those years. However, if you want all the features such as unlocking or turning the lights or all that kind of stuff, you want to get a Mini that's produced after March 2018. If your car isn't taking your VIN, sorry my dog's over here making a noise. <laughs> if the dog, if the dog, if the dog isn't taking your VIN, then boot it outside. <laughs> If the app isn't taking your VIN, it's probably because you might have put in the wrong country. Um, so you actually have to put in the country that your car was bought in. So for me in Canada, I would put it in, make sure I have Canada listed as my country. There's also other reasons that might not accept it. For example, you have to have a certain package added onto your car when you bought it. Uh, for example, a package that you would need is the connected media package, the connected navigation package, or the connected navigation plus package. If your car is older than 2013, you want to look on the uh, app store for, your, for the old app. Alright, hopefully you found that useful. I am getting eaten alive by nature and such. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Please give a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe for plenty more content to come. Bye! Go. No. Sure. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs>